Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday. Come on in. Let's make some energize together. Before we work out, I'm gonna grab a straw. Let's talk this morning. Happy, happy Saturday, happy weekend. Happy first Saturday in December. I feel like this is really when like holiday activities and festivities really get kicked off, right? Like everything really kicks off this weekend. So happy, happy Saturday. Let's make some energize together. I filled up my energize yesterday with, there was, there was some concern, there was concern that I was gonna run out of energize because my jar was getting very low. I'm here to tell you that is absolutely never, ever, ever gonna happen. That is never gonna happen. I will never, the light is being so weird today. Um, that is never gonna happen. I'm never, ever gonna run out of energize. Can you imagine? Can you even imagine running out of energize? Oh my gosh. How is everyone this morning? Happy Saturday. Welcome to the first Saturday in December. So first of all, before we make this energize, although I'm dying for it right now, look at this cup that I just got. Look, this is all about Shakeology a little bit later today, a little bit later today. Oh my gosh, who's on for the first time? Because she's on, Lisa, for the first time, because she's on Pacific time. And we're at 9 a.m. here in Carmel, Indiana on Eastern time. So I'm so glad you could join. You are up and at it early on this Saturday morning. Good for you, good for you. A Gallagher Story. I don't know what your first name is. A Gallagher Story. So I can't call you by your first name. I need you to tell me what your first name is. We also, I feel like we need a little bit more light in here, don't you? Let's see if that helps. We can see what we're doing here. I still feel like we need some more light. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How is everyone this morning? Carrie Lorenz. Okay, listen, friends, right now. Carrie Lorenz is an incredible author and speaker. She's got multiple books. You need to get them. Just, you can see her right here on the comments. You can go to her website. You need, you need to be following her on Instagram right now. You need to get her books, especially the audio. Carrie, I love when you read them. That's my favorite. When you read the books, that's my absolute favorite. And get them in your life right now they're so good plus she's such a badass female like you want carrie's vibe in your life right now so make sure you're following her because she's just the she is such a badass female we have we have much in common and um we're just she's such an um, awesome human being i'm so somehow some way carrie we got connected <coughs> and I am so thankful for it. So make sure that you are following her. Okay, so we have filled up, I filled up the jar yesterday because there was much concern. Christina, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Okay, this is lemon energized and fruit punch energized put into here and then I mix it together. So it's already mixed when I put it into my cup. Yes, I do two scoops, don't judge. Yes, I do two scoops. Then I put in my collagen burn party five. Um, Carrie, yes, Ashley. Look, I, I, we we are we've had much discussion um, that if they don't have, if their Instagram handle is not their name, they need to go change it because nobody walks up to someone on the street and goes, "Hey, burn party of five. No, Ashley, you need to make that your name. So thankfully, she gave you her name. She gave you her name, and Carrie says she's a big fan. That's so fun. So yes, Christina. I mean, two scoops. Like yes, yes, yes. Carrie, I'm gonna assume you better frother or fritter or fritter maker or you know whatever. Whatever works for you. Whatever works for you. I mean two scoops. And then okay, so then I put my collagen in and then I always put and this is my absolute favorite flavor. Okay, let's just let's just get it out there in the open right now. Okay, let's just get it out there. I know this is not the cleanest vitamin C. Okay? I know that. I know it's not the cleanest, it's not organic, it's not the cleanest. I know that. It, I have tried multiple different kinds of vitamin C powders because I like it to be a little fizzy. I like it to be a little fizzy. And I have just finally come to the conclusion <clears throat> that if the worst thing I do is have emergency instead of an organic vitamin C powder, I'm probably okay. Probably okay. <coughs> so, ooh, we're making a mess. Okay. Let me froth that up. 
put some ice in. Okay, so I have, <clears throat> I was thinking this morning, I wanted to share this with you because I had it on my mind yesterday. Then I forgot, and then I remembered. Okay, so as you know, as you know, my husband retired on Monday. We have sold our home. We are getting ready to go to Orlando next week and close on a house down there. So lots happening, lots happening in a week. And this week, so I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this, uh, real, because this has really been interesting to me. And I have experienced it previously. You probably have too when something monumental happens in your life. Now, the difference between what's happening in our life now and previous sort of monumental situations is two words, social media. Social media. And in previous like monumental situations that have happened in my life, watershed moments, pivotal moments, the prevalence of social media was just less. So it was just a kind of a different world. And now, of course, social media is how we connect. That's how we know each other, which I love, I love, I love. Nicole, thank you so much. You're so, you're so kind. And speaking of social media, so here we are together making our energize. So I think it makes it different in that word travels faster, right? People know more about you. And we have this interesting phenomenon in our culture because of social media where we both feel compelled to share everything and also annoyed if people aren't sharing everything. And well, <laughs> I was a for burn party of five, Ashley. I was a high school English teacher, so I, I use a lot. I use words like plethora, and then when I hear other people use them, I'm like, this is why we're, you are my people. I don't even, if you're not starting your day with this, what are you doing? I don't even know. So because of, of the prevalence of social media, there is this interesting phenomenon that we're both expected to share everything. We're annoyed when people don't share everything. And it was so, I mean, the universe, the universe. I read this post by author Lovey, why can't I say her not last time? I'm pretty sure it's Smith. And she wrote a book that I read this summer called Professional Troublemaker. Carrie, if you are still on and you have read that book and you know her last name for sure, will you please put it in the comments if you happen to still be on? Because I know you know her. I think it's Lovey Smith and she wrote a book called Professional Troublemaker. She's freaking awesome. You have to follow her on social media. And just maybe it was just last week or early this week as all of this started happening, as, as my husband turned in his... A retirement letter as we revealed, you know, that we sold our house and that we were buying a new house as all of this started happening. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Melissa. She lovey put this post up and she was talking that, you know, just in general, but she said, we are a society that we think we have to overshare. And just because you don't know something doesn't mean that person's keeping a secret. I was like, whoa, that's big. So I really, I really pulled that in and I've been kind of holding space for that thought for a while. So then we had this big moment that happened this week, these big moments, this big, you know, turning point in our life where we're leaving the coaching profession for now, for now, we'll see, we shall see how long he stays out of it, but we are moving to Florida. So it's a big moment and it's really been interesting on a couple levels, what I have received this week. He can't hardly get away from his phone because the messages that he has received, which is amazing. And I too am receiving messages. And it's, here's what's interesting. Number one, the people that send you just a note. Hey, my, I'm thinking about you. This is so exciting. You know, whatever. The people that send you a note. The people that don't who know what's happening and who don't, you notice both. The people who send you a message that are like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I don't know all the details. Don't care, just super excited about you. And the people who send you a message that say, I cannot believe you did not tell me. It has been so, I can't think of any other word besides interesting. Also, I think clarifying, illuminating, to watch this happen, to have this happen this week. 
the messages I've received, the ones I haven't, the ones who send me a message, just I'm sending you good vibes, and the ones who are like, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? And I, it, all of that is just such an interesting human phenomenon that has happened because of social media. And I remember when my dad died 20 years ago, because there really wasn't social media, but I remember when he died and we were from a small town and everybody knows everything, you know, whatever, right? That needs a whole other conversation, doesn't it? Like, Carrie, you and I should do a Facebook Live or Instagram Live and have a conversation. We should do a podcast and talk about this whole idea of this social media situation. Um, I, but I remember when my dad died 20 years ago, and again, there really wasn't social media at all. And yet, word gets around. Word gets around in a small town. Word gets around with your friends, your close friends, whatever. And I remember who reached out and who didn't. I remember that, clearly. I remember who reached out and who didn't. And not really just to me, but to, to my mom or who showed up or whatever. I remember that. You probably have pivotal moments, watershed moments, transitional moments that, that people know about. And you remember who reached out and who didn't, right? And I remember when... I remember when I got fired from Lifetime Fitness. I got fired from Lifetime Fitness because I was in the P90X2 video. So the opportunity came through to be in the P90X2 home video. I took it. One would think that would be pretty amazing that you have on staff an instructor teaching classes who also was in a home video with Tony Horton. Like, what? Like, you'd think that'd be an incredible marketing tool. No. Instead, when you have small minds, you don't think that way. And so they fired me. I laugh about it now because um, I think I've shared before, I've lost track of how many times they've asked me to come back, but that's neither here nor there. I remember that was a really hard season for me. And I remember who reached out and who didn't. And I remember who came to my classes when I moved to another gym and who didn't. And I, you remember that, right? And so I as we're navigating this season and going through this week, I'm noticing who has reached out and who hasn't and how they've reached out. I heard, I've heard from people that I never expected to hear from simply with, oh my gosh, this sounds so exciting. Congratulations. Really excited for your journey, whatever it is, with no expectation that they needed to know. And I'll be quite honest with you, very few people knew this was going on. As we got to this point where we thought, okay, this is a decision that we're going to make. This is the path that we're going to go down. We're putting some pieces in place. We're getting this puzzle kind of put together. At the end of the day, the people that need to know first were my husband's players, period. No, not our family, other than our daughters. Our daughters have known everything all along, of course. But no, not anybody else in our family. The people who needed to know first were my husband's players and his administration, period. Because they were the people who were first affected by it. So once that got out, then we felt morally right then starting to tell everybody else. Correct, Ashley, it's not a community decision. And we, we wanted to be so, my husband, Y'all, someday you're going to meet my husband and you'll be like, you're going to be like, this man is like the most ethical person. He just is his, he is so guided by his morals and his ethics. And until his players knew, until he stood in that, that meeting room in front of 110 young men and said, this is what's happening. It wasn't my place to say anything. It wasn't anybody else's business to know. It just wasn't. And Going back to what Lovey said, that's why I want you to follow her, is just because someone doesn't know doesn't mean we're keeping a secret. We're following what we think the, the compass that our heart tells us to and who we believe needs to know first. And just because you don't know about it doesn't mean we're keeping a secret. So it's just been interesting then to really pay attention to then who, who reaches out afterwards as they know because it, it is a... It's a transition, right? It's a transition. You're, you're leaving something. He's been a, a coach for 30 years. He's been a head coach for 21. 
that's a long time. Like that's a, that's the majority of your life, right? That's the majority of your life. So are there going to, going to be some moments? Is this going to be a transition? Of course it is. Has he, I, I will say this. And he was put here on earth to help young men. I got the nicest message from one of his players this week who messaged me because he wants to send something to my husband, but he wants it to be a surprise. So he wanted our address. It was so kind. Um, and he said, you know, he just really helped us become better men. And, and that's really what his purpose is. His purpose on earth is to help young men become better versions of themselves using the game of football. That's his passion and his purpose. However, when the joy gets sucked out of that, it's time for a change. And I have seen him happier this week than I've seen him in a long time, which is really freaking cool because no one should go through life without joy, especially after the last two years, especially after the last two years. Um, Ashley, you're right. You're right. Um, it is a transition that I am going through too, because like yesterday afternoon, I mean, this is a funny example, but it just, but it is the truth. Yesterday afternoon, like I work, this is my office. I work all day long here. I work. And he, I heard the garage door open and it was like 2.10 in the afternoon. And I'm like, what the, what, I'm sorry, what? And he walked in, I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, oh, you know, I thought, uh, I'm like, I'm recording a podcast at 2.30. What are you doing? You put the leashes on these dogs and you go out of this house right now. And I would never have had to worry about that before. I would not because I would, he would be, he would be gone this week because all of December would be recruiting normally. So even this week was Jenna's birthday, November 30th. He was home for about two or three days after Jenna was born and then he was out on the road recruiting. That's just the nature of the beast. And so when he came up with 2.50, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I am working and I'm filming a podcast and you need to get out of here. So you are right, Ashley. It's going to be a transition for me. Uh, it's just, we're going to have to figure it out. It is a really long time as a head coach. It is a really long time. And um, what am I doing in my, what am I doing in my home? Oh, <laughs> like what is he doing in my home or what am I going to be doing in, in my new home? We can talk about all those things too. So I just, I, I'm sharing this with you. A, because it's been on my heart and I always share all the things that I, I, I want you to know. Um, but I'm also sharing this with you because, uh, and I'll add this into, I'll add this into just as kind of a sobering thought. I'll add this in as well. Yes, Carrie. I mean, yes, fighting for your joy is so important and you cannot go to a place where you aren't valued and what you're bringing to the table isn't valued, especially when it is your purpose in life. So yes, you're so correct. And so I'm going to, I'm going to share this with you and it's a little bit sobering, but I, I want you to put all these pieces together and then use it going forward. So we got, um, we got really horrible news about JD's aunt earlier this week, who's, um, battling cancer and it's not good. We won't go into that, but it's not good. And, um, she, you know, it's, it's always the best of us, isn't it? It's always the best of us. And he and I were talking like, what, do you want to go up there? Do you want to get up there and see her? So he called her this week and had a great conversation. And she said, I just, just, just send texts, just pictures, just the fact that you picked up the phone, just the fact that you picked up the phone, just how, you know, just send me pictures, just text and whatever. And I thought, really, that's all we want as humans, isn't it? We just want someone to say, Hey, I'm thinking about you today. Right. And what we do on the other side of that, before sending that message is get in our head about, well, is it the right thing to say? But you know, as the receiver, it doesn't matter what someone says, does it? It just matters that they said something. And that's even what, you know, JB's aunt said to him, because of course my husband um, was like, I, I didn't know what to say. And she said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just matters that you reached out. And I, I, I just noticed that even more this week. I noticed it before in my life. I noticed, I'm noticing it this week. And because I am, and because my, what part of my passion is to shorten your learning curve in all the things, whether it's how to make a good energize or maybe how to just create your life on purpose of purpose, just reach out to someone. 
if they're going through something, if you're thinking about them, whatever it is, do not worry about the right thing to say because as the receiver, they don't care. You don't care. You don't care about the right thing to say. You notice when someone reaches out, period. Now, you do notice if they reach out and say, why didn't you tell me? That's also illuminating. Pay attention to that because you know what that is? That is a notice for a boundary. And, you know, I got one of those messages last night and it just reinforced the boundary that I already had in place. Just reinforced it. If, if that person thought that that message they were sending me was going to make me feel bad, no. It just reinforced the boundary that I already had in place. So pay attention to that too. And it, here's, your, here's your thought, here's your goal for today. And then we'll draw our cards and then we'll go work out. If you are just just thinking about someone, if you've got someone in your heart, if you've got someone in your mind, if you know someone's going through something. It doesn't even have to be a big transition. They don't have to be moving out of state. It doesn't even have to be a big transition. It doesn't have to be anything ginormous. Just if you've got them in your heart and mind, you know they're going through something. Even if they're having, they have a new baby, their baby was sick, their toddler is teething, they got a new puppy. I don't, whatever it is, and something is different, something is different, just send him a message. It doesn't matter what you say. Just go, hey, I was thinking about you today. When I'm telling you those messages, and you know because you've received them, those are the ones that you remember. And then you remember the ones that you didn't get from people that you thought you would. Now, that's on us a little bit. That's expectations, and we shouldn't have expectations of people because that usually leads to disappointment. I know that. But just pay attention to that because that's a place where you can put a boundary. It's a place where you can put a boundary. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Ashley, this is a, that is the most beautiful message right there. What amazing news. Oh my gosh. How can I support you? Cheering you on. What can I? Yes. Or, you know, if it's not so great news, like health news, how can I support you? How can I support you? Cause they'll tell you like JB's aunt said, you just text me. So now my girls are on a mission. So like when Jenna's out walking around in DC, she's taking pictures and she's sending them. That's all she wants. That's all she wants. You know, when, when Jesse's in New York city, she's going to take some pictures and that's what she wants. How can I support you? How can I cheer you on? How can I cheer you on? What can I do? And sometimes they don't know, but often, often people do, I think. And you know, if someone would send, would send that message to me, or probably to you, or what you go, oh my gosh, just send good vibes. You know, we just I just really appreciate you reaching out. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. So remember that. As you navigate your, your December and your Christmas, we can get so caught up in all the things that we think we have going on, and it's not that our lives aren't busy, but everyone's lives are busy, and everyone's got something going on, and we all have weight. And just because you don't see it on social media does not mean that someone's not going through something and it does not mean they're keeping a secret from you. It just means it's not on social media and that's okay. All right, let us choose a card. Just, we chose two today. We got two. It's a Saturday. So maybe it's like for Saturday and Sunday, you know? Okay. Oh my gosh. What? I am honest. I am honest. I am honest. I assess my own strengths and move in integrity. Were we not just talking about this? How does the universe do this every single time? I am honest and I move in integrity. You know, I really believe when you move in integrity and you stand in what you believe to be true, you can't go wrong. I am resourceful. I use creative methods to construct the best possible life. Meaning, meaning I create my life on purpose with purpose. Blair, this is a, a sweatshirt I had made for some of my coaches. It was a, a incentive, a prize, a reward that I had made for some of my coaches. Gosh, I think it was a little earlier this year. Yeah, it was earlier this year, but I think you can get it through Project 100, the link on Fit Sweat Life. Um, many of you know, I'm gonna try to type it in here. Um, I'll try to tag him. So if you go here, Oh, yeah, it's my mantra. Okay, if you go to Chris's Instagram and head over to his website, there's a whole Project 100 shop there. Open to anyone. Open to anyone. Okay, ready? 
Ready? Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Are you, do you ever, like, are you ever as amazed as I am or is it just me? So just me that gets really fired up about these cards. I mean the universe. Also, we had an eclipse last night, so really cool new energy this morning. Every next level of your life will demand a different version of you. Yeah, take that in. Screenshot that, baby. Mm-hmm. I was just talking about this last night as we are working on and getting these babies ready. The notepads and things and the notes, books and all the things. It's just a lot. It's a lot to create, to configure. You know, this is my business, and I, but I have not done anything like this before, and it's a lot. And a lot of decisions have to be made. And I want to make sure I get it right, but it, it won't be perfect because I've not done it before. And I was just saying this last night. I'm like, well, it's a new level, new devil. New level, new devil. It's just stuff you got to figure out. Samantha Lunt, how are you this morning? Okay, on the back, so we've got, here's our first. Every next level of your life will demand a greater version, a different version of you. Here's our next one. Never stop learning. Never stop growing. Be unafraid to change. And your affirmation day is, I am ready to make positive change. I'm ready to make positive change. That is our affirmation today. So, our goal today. Here, here's your goals today. Here's your goals. Um, good morning, Samantha. You're so kind. Carrie, you ordered, did you order the cards, the bar blend and those cards? That's amazing. Uh, the card drawing is the best, isn't it? And yeah, I, oh, you know, I always share if it's in my head and in my heart, it's coming out my mouth to you. Be unafraid to change. Be unafraid to change. So here's your, here are our challenges this weekend. Your challenge today is, and also I have to share, why do I go down these rabbit holes? I have to share this text I got from my um, dear friend Emily, who's also my accountant, uh, yesterday too. It's really cool. I'll share that later. But here's your challenge today. Two of them. Number one, please message. Mm, what do you think? Samantha, what do you think? Three, four, five people that you've got in your head or in your heart today. Maybe they're going through something. Maybe it's fun. Maybe they're transitioning to something fun. Maybe it's something heavy. Whatever it is, three or five people, I want you to message them today and just say, simple. Hey, I'm thinking about you. Hey, I'm thinking about you. I hope you're doing well. Happy holidays. Simple. Okay. Just that, just that. Okay. Five. Samantha says five. So we're just going to send out five people that are in your head and heart today that you think might be going through something, might need a little extra cheering on and support. You're going to send them a message. And when you do, you're going to tag me on social media. You're going to tag me on stories and let me know you did that. And then challenge number two, we're going back to our 100 ounces of water because today I get boosted, baby. Boosted up today, baby. I have been like drinking so much water. I'm just like a walking water bottle right now. Uh, and I'm going to continue that. So do it with me. 100 ounces plus of water today. If you're in, let me know. If you, if you hit it, tag me at the end. I've had about 30 so far this morning, not including this. So I'll drink this a couple of times. And this I think is like 25, 28, maybe 25. Um, and, then I'm, and then I'm just like, I am down it today, baby. So if you're in, 100 ounces of water, tag me at the end when you when you hit it, okay? Let's go work out now that we've made the Energize. Let's go message people that we care about, that we know could use a little bit of cheering up, a little cheering on, a little support. Let's just reach out, share the holiday magic. Let's drink our water today. Let's move our body today. Let's make it a great Saturday. Talk to you soon.